Hi, Pam. Can you hear me? That was weird. I hadn't even hit live yet, and I saw you say hi. Okay. Hello. That was strange. Can you hear me now? You are here for once. I'm glad. Let's see if I can make my camera not crooked. Oops, no. That was really weird that I hadn't hit the button yet. Well, it is it is StreamYard, so I guess I should expect weird. Hey, Laura, what are you doing? Are you home from picking up the kiddo? So, man, have I had a day, you guys. I've had a day. I mean, I've really had a day. Spent part of the morning on the phone with my sister. She lives in Oklahoma. And her and three of her kids and a friend were in Oklahoma City. There was a shooting in the mall. And they were right there in it when it happened. So, yeah, they managed to get out through a back door of one of the stores up to the roof and then down across the street, and they were held up in a T-Mobile store for two and a half hours. So that happened. And then, then I couldn't find my phone anywhere. I could hear text messages coming in, but I couldn't find it. So I got on the computer, and I texted my daughter, and I said, can you please call my phone? I can't find it. It was in the kitchen sink. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're fine. They're fine. So that was the phone episode. Um, I was sitting on the patio this morning having my morning coffee. And I had purchased something online. And the wind started to blow. So I put my card in my pocket, came inside, did some other stuff. And I was like, oh, I need to put that card away. Reached in my pocket. It wasn't there. So I tore apart the entire patio looking for it. And then I thought to myself, wait a minute. I have on sweatpants and a sweatshirt right now. I think I had my robe on when I placed that order. Sure enough, found the card. It was in the pocket of my robe. Okay. So there's that. And then when I was gathering my goodies here that you see on the table from uh, In Love Arts, one item that I got is lost in my room somewhere. So I don't know if you guys thinking I should go back to bed. Uh, it's been, I, I can't even tell you guys, it's been a day. It has been a day. And full disclosure, if the mailman comes while we're live, I'm going to have to run outside again because that package is for him. <laughs> I'm telling you, Laura. And the worst part about it, it was my husband's card. So if he would have came home and I would have told him, listen, <laughs> I didn't leave the house, but I lost your card. <laughs> oh, I can't. Oh, and the kids fly in tomorrow. And, uh, you know, it, it's just happy holidays. Ta-da. Here we go. So, I don't know. It's kind of early on a Friday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The kids come in tomorrow. I still have to do all the laundry, mop all the floors, you know. <laughs> Yay. So there's all that. So I kind of want to just hang out for a minute and wait for a few more people to get here. If you just got here and you want to hear about all my goofy stuff that's happened today, watch the video from the beginning. There's that. So here's what I have. <clears throat> a couple weeks ago, I got an email from this wonderful company called In Love Arts. And um, they have really cool stuff. 
I had never heard from or never heard about them. And so they reached out to me, asked me if I would be interested in doing an like, you know, a collaboration where I get their items, I show them to you guys, I use them and whatnot, and they give me discount codes to pass on to you guys. Hey, Cheryl. So um, in the description box below, you will find a link to every item that I'm going to show you. And then there is also a discount code at the top that you, you know, type in your cart at the end that'll give you 15% off your order. Um, and I do believe they do free shipping on orders over 25. And so the one item that I can't find that's in my room somewhere, I printed out pictures of, so at least I can show it to you guys that way. So there's that. And what else? What else? What else? Um, I tried a couple of them out quickly before I hopped on. And then so I will play with a couple. I can't stay on too long because I have so much to do. But um, let me just check and make sure. Yeah, so you'll see in the description box, first is a discount code. And that's the S7671. And then there's a link under each thing. So, of course, the very first one, the Retro Series Mini Decorative Envelopes, Packs of 12, that's the item that's lost in my room. So there's two different sets, and I don't know how good you guys are going to be able to see this. This is the half song, and I'm just going to there hold it. And they're the cutest little things, and they are um, two and three quarters tall, three and three quarters wide. So there's the half song, and then there's Time Fairy, and that's what these look like. And this is just the fronts. The backs are decorated, too. <laughs> I know. I know, Pam. I know. And, and, it, and it's all very reasonable. It's going to blow your guys' mind when you go look. Very, very reasonable. Shipping is, they ship um, from the U.S. or, you know, in the U.S. I can't make any sense today. Um, so that's the first thing on the list. And let's see, what do we have next? The paper. Yeah, let's look at the paper first because when I get to the stamps, and dies and embossing folders. I'm gonna play with those. So this is Love Forever six by six pattern paper. So there's 12 designs, two of each sheets, total of 24 sheets, and they are, let's see, I don't know if there's printing on both sides or one side. Let's find out. They are one side. All right, that's the cover. And if you guys have questions, be sure to yell. And hi to anybody that I've missed. All right. <clears throat> so there's that one. And this one's got a little a little doily in one corner and flowers and a birdhouse in the bottom. And stripes. And butterflies. Ooh, I like that. Faded music. That's pretty. And this is faded music and flowers. And this is a blue with faded text. Ooh, ah, look at that one. Ready. Um, it is, you know, I would say it's a cross. It's right in the middle between paper and cardstock. I mean, it's thicker than copy paper, but not as heavy as Tim Holtz type cardstock, right? So I would say it's right in the middle. And I don't think it has a pound. It says 160 gram wooden free paper so let me ask let me ask siri how many pounds is 160 grams i'm sorry oh stop how many pounds is 160 grams 0 0.35 pounds so 35 pound that's what siri says 
<laughs> How about that? <laughs> All right, so we saw that one. Ooh, pretty powers. Oh, and this one, <clears throat> it's an arch and it says, love you. And then it's got a, a letter faded into the background. That's cool. That one's got text. That's a pale pink, if you can't really tell on the screen. And then here's the last one with a little shoe in the bottom corner. All right, so there's the paper crack. So that's that. And I showed you the envelopes. Um, all right, stamps are going to be last. I'm going to move those aside. So I got one embossing folder. And <clears throat> who moved my ruler? Here it is. This embossing folder is five and three quarters by four and a quarter. There's the inside. And I ran it through on a piece of tea stain paper. Fold and it, and I did it folded in half. So the front is embossed, the back is debossed. And there's the inside. And what I really love doing with this, it's just running it through like this and then tear a piece off. And then I'll take it, tear or cut, either way. I'll take it and fold it in half and then just sew it to a page in the journal. Um, you know, I put it around like this and just stitch around it. And it just gives such a neat element on a page, right? So that's what it looks like on tea stain paper, which is gorgeous. And then, and then, if you guys look at my videos from last year, I made some faux leather little journals. And here's how I do it. I take a piece of heavy craft card stock. I ran it through there, you know, it's folded in half. I ran it through there. And then in the middle, I score it three times, once down the middle and one tick either side, right? So you have a little bitty spine. And hopefully the camera doesn't shake when I do this. And I'm only gonna do one side. And then take your Distress ink and rub it on there. I've tried this with colored ink and it doesn't work, you know, different colors. It doesn't work quite as good. Hi, Curly. There went my phone again. That phone does not want to stay anywhere near me today. Kitchen sink on the floor. So you do this, and you can do all four sides inside and out, right? Let it dry. Let it dry good for a couple hours. After it's good and dry, get some wax paper, put a coat of Mod Podge on there, and then take wax paper, clean, fold it over both sides, stick it in a heavy book and shut it, let it dry come out perfectly flat and feels like leather. Cool, right? I'm gonna do a craft with me video and we're gonna make a whole one of these um, after the first of the year. So there's that. That's that embossing folder. And then this, I think is in my top three of favorite things, the die. Sorry, I was reading. Hi, Vanessa. And so I cut out a book page with it. And this is what it looks like if you fold it. And then I did a piece of Tim Holtz paper with it. And somewhere around here. <clears throat> so here's what it would look like, you know, pocket. Where is it? Hold on. Let me see if I can. Lessen that glare up. I don't know where it's coming from. <clears throat> and 
And here's the one. Isn't it pretty out of the book page? And it perforates it also. So it gives you the perforated line here. And oh, you can't see it. And on both of the sides. So then all you have to do, you make three folds, put a dab of glue on each of those, maybe. Flip it, fold it, glue it if I can. Ta da. Cool, right? And they have several different. Um, little envelope dies, but man, how cool for our journals. Just like that, bam, you've got a pocket. And no matter what you use, once you put something in it, then you've got the design. <laughs> bam, I'm buying that. And you guys, if you um, find something that you want and it says it's out of stock, shoot them an email. Because nine times out of ten, they do have it. It's just somebody forgot to hit the restock button and add them back in. Okay. So there's that. Now, let's play with the stamps. Let's play, for the, play with the stamps and let's not miss the mailman. And if you're here today and you didn't catch my live video yesterday... You might want to go watch that because there's a Christmas surprise in there. And it, that Christmas surprise was only good for a couple more days. Let me grab some cardstock. All right. Any questions or anything so far? And if you just got here, like I said, down below in the description box, In Love Arts. Or in love art shop kind of has two names the the link and the shop name are a little bit different there's a 15% off discount um, down there there's a link to everything I've showed you and then once you click one of those links you'll also be able to see you know the whole store all right I want to do this one first this one's my, my favorite my favorite my favorite I'm glad you're feeling better, Cheryl. So, let's see. I'm going to hold it up close so you guys can see it before I start playing with it. Isn't it hurdy? And this one is... Let's get it on inches, shall we? This one's about seven and a half by two and three quarter. And this one, I don't think that I'm going to put this on a block, you know, on a stamping block, because I want to be able to, you know, just do this or this, you know, to kind of not do the whole thing all the time. So let's just give it a go. Haha. <laughs> Pretty. One of my favorite things to do is stamp off the page like that. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. But if you want to use the whole thing, you might want to put it on a block. That's pretty, you guys. That is super pretty. Is Peggy Pockets here? Well, hello, Peggy Pockets. How are you today? I am showing off all the goodies that I have gotten from In Love Arts. They have graciously given me a discount code for you guys that is down below. All right, so that's that one, and that's fun, right? Yes, I love that one too. All right, let's see what else. What should we do next? Let's do the bricks. Oh, the bricks. 
I think I have a brick stencil somewhere. And this guy is four by four by four and a half. So that's the bricks. Yeah, just hang out with us. So I'm going to use the fired brick on this one. And I think I'm going to do the whole thing first. Oops. Oops. Now I've done it. Did I say hi to you, Curly? I can't even remember now. <gasps> Ready. Pretty, pretty. Or say, you know, you just want to do a corner on a page. Or you want to do each corner. Cool, right? You know, you should clean it beforehand. <clears throat> do as I say, not as I do. That one's going to be a ton of fun. All right, there's that one. What do we have next? This one has all the different music. And I, I had planned on do, just doing like a craft with me type of a thing with these, but since I don't have that much time today and the company's coming, we're doing, we're just going, we're going the speedy route today, girls. All right, and this one's called, I guess I could have told you the names as we went. Uh, uh, the, the brick is called wall background stamp. And then the first one is script with flowers background stamp. This one is elegant note stamps. All right, so let's see. Let me see, let me see. Ah, ready. It's the little things that excite me. It doesn't take much. <laughs> uh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hi, Rosemary. I'm just doing a show and tell. And don't mind my overstamping, you guys. I'm doing a show and tell of... um. My items from In Love Arts, they graciously reached out to me and asked if I would want to show you guys some of their items, and I get to give you guys a discount. So that's fun, right? Let's do this the right way. I'm just over here stamping away like there's no tomorrow. And I am going to email her. I forgot. I'm going to email her um, when I get done here. So I'm almost almost 100%, but I'm going to double check with her and make sure that there's no copyright issues with any of these stamps. Look at that, man. Cool. And these, I mean, they stamp nice and crisp. Really nice. Really, really nice. I am pleasantly surprised. All right, let's go to the flowers now. Let me put these all back because usually I don't. Usually I don't. What are you up to, Rosemary? Have you done a video of your um, paper with the white oak? kind of think you did. I don't remember. <clears throat> All right, and this one is called Vintage Plant Series Stamps. That's what this one is. Let me show it to you guys. I'm not going to take any of these off. I'm just going to if I can do them without making a mess. Yeah, I'll make a little mess. Is this a bonsai tree? That might be. 
Yes, man, I did a review. All right, I'll have to go back and watch. Or I could have been there and I just don't remember. Trust me, if you've heard, if you've heard about the day I had. <laughs> oh, man, phone in the sink. It's been a day. All right, let me take off. Let me let me take off a tree. Let's see. I know I have some greenish ink. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try this. Pretty. How oh, fun. Don't mind the mess. That's just because I didn't take it off. I'll take another one off. Why not? Why not? I think you were there, Rosemary says. Okay. I guess I'll go back and look and see if I was there. Look at that. I'm really impressed for how reasonably priced these stamps are. I'm very impressed at how good they stamp. And this is uh, an oxide ink, so. That's why it's a little fady. Hey, Miss Gigi. Let's see. Where did my little... I'm going to stamp in my envelope. In the back, just for kicks. Cool. Cool, right? Yeah. I like them, you guys. And I hadn't played with anything until I came on. So I will say, I think I will definitely be ordering from them. And let me, I'm going to throw everything back on the table. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Your stamps and the envelope die and the embossing folder and some more stamps. They really are, and there's tons, tons and tons and tons. So I am just going back to their site. To tell you guys. Oh, and they're doing a New Year giveaway. I'm going to tell you some of the things they have. They have a new arrival section. They have a hot sale section. Dies and stamps. They have a Christmas section. Clearance. Accessories. They've got paper, paper quilling, embossing folders, stickers, layering stencils. Of course, all kinds of dyes, all kinds of stamps. They have 5D diamond paintings. Miss Gigi, if you look in the description box below, there's links to all of these stamps, everything that I showed you today. That It's from In Love Arts, and they gave me a discount code to share with you guys. It's also the very first thing in the description box. You get 15% off. All right. Um, let's see. What else can I tell you guys? Um, they have pre-made cards and let's see, I'm just flipping through, but you guys just need to go check it out. I mean that everything, all the dies, the stamps, the, and reasonable, very reasonable. And I'm really happy with everything. And then of course the little mini envelopes, which are lost in my room somewhere. They come in packs of 12. That's the time fairy set, and that's the half song. Ooh, there we go, half song set. And they're two and three quarter by three and three quarters. So that's that. And here again is the tea stained paper that I used from the embossing folder. I <laughs> know, I know, right, Peggy? Oh, the boys are on vacation, Laura. Cool, cool. 
All right, you guys, any questions, comments? Oh, and here's the paper for those of you that missed the paper. And you can go back and watch the video. Six by six paper pack. And this one was the In Love, right? In Love. Here we go. Love Forever, six by six pattern paper. So there was that one. That wish list is miles long. All right, let's see. Anything else? Anybody have anything going on in their shops or on their YouTube channel or anything that you want to share? Please feel, feel free to throw it in. Oh, I'm looking at one right now. It's called Irregular Background Stamps. Oh, I need that one. And it's on sale for $1.93. Hang on, let me look real quick. See if this one, this one right here is on sale for $2.12, you guys. $2.12 for this one. Let me see what else I can find quick before I go. The This one, sorry if you hear my stomach growling. This one's on sale for $2.08. What else? Else, I'm in the I'm in the on sale section. Yeah, I need that irregular background stamp. Oh, there's four pages. Oh yeah, okay. I don't think it I don't think it could get much worse, Pam. Oh, they've got um, acrylic blocks for three dollars and eight cents. That's a good deal. Ooh, they've got white ink metallic scrapbook translucent paper. Eight pieces for $6.17. That looks fun. Oh, Denise, you do? You have stuff from In Love Arts? And hi. I'm just looking to see if anything else that I have is in the clearance bin. Or the hot sale bin. Sorry, that's where I'm looking right now. In the hot sale bin. Ooh, it looks like they might have origami stuff, maybe? Maybe? Ooh, mixed elegant, or mixed element background stamps. You guys got to go to the website. So, everything's down below. If you have any questions, or if you have any hiccups with your discount code, email me. Facebook message me. Yeah, exactly, Denise. Exactly. So reasonable. All right, you guys. Well, I am um, off to finish getting the house ready for the kiddos that are coming tomorrow. So there's that. And I hope everybody has a very Merry Christmas. I'm probably going to be MIA for the next week. <clears throat> But I will see you guys soon. And one more time, check out yesterday's live video. There's a Christmas surprise in there. Sure you check it out, okay? Laura, you going live anytime soon? Jersey? Laura Jersey? Merry Christmas, Cheryl. I hope you feel better, hon. Oh, sorry, Denise. <laughs> yeah, it was just a quickie. Go back and rewatch, though. Thanks, Sheila. Okay. Okay, Laura. All right, you guys. I'm out of here. Off to cleaning I go. And I will see you guys in about a week.